Welcome to HP Tuner's for Gen 2 Coyote Training Part 42. This training module, we're going to be taking a look at how to dial in a base map for a force induction application. Whether you're going to be going supercharger or turbocharger on your Gen 2 Coyote, we need to go in and create a whole bunch of changes in our engine control module programming so that when we fire it up, it's going to allow the engine to actually fire up and run and we can begin our calibration process with reasonable values. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at creating a force induction base calibration file for S550 Mustang applications. This specific tutorial, I'm gonna be walking through how I'm going to create my base file for a stage two Whipple kit that's going to have aftermarket injectors, so larger than stock injector size. Also having long tube headers, high flow cats, cat back exhaust, I'm gonna have upgraded clutch and flywheel, though that not really details we need to know for programming. Um, so I'm gonna have all the supporting mods for the Whipple kit so that I have um, everything in order mechanically. Now we need to program it virtually so that we're accounting for all of these specific details. So some of the other details that I have here, I do have the 132 Roval elliptical throttle body that comes with the Whipple kit. I also have the 132 mass airflow housing intake assembly that also pairs with that throttle body. So those all have to be scaled in order for our engine just to start up and run. A lot of details here to cover. Let's jump into our calibration file we're going to be starting off with here. It's a 2015 Mustang GT. It's the cal file I'm going to go and show you how to build off of. doesn't matter any, anywhere between a 15 or a 17. We'll be doing the exact same things here to build out the calibration file. And the template applicator is what we're going to be using to move and bring in all the bulk data to make sure that we have things like our torque tables, spark timing tables, and speed density tables already pre-scaled to give us a really good starting point. This is gonna probably take 80 to 90% of the guesswork and calibration work out on your end of things, giving you a solid starting point. Now, if you're not installing a Whipple kit, let's say you're installing a Vortec kit or some kind of a Paxton centrifugal supercharger, or let's say a twin turbo kit, what we're gonna be building here in, the, in this specific tutorial will still apply for your situation. You still need to have a basis or a foundation. The torque tables, speed density tables, spark timing tables all have to be accounted for and scaled out and this will get you prepared for that situation. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a Whipple charger that you're installing. Any force induction setup here is going to be scaled out and built the same way in the base file. So let's jump in here and let's take a look at the calibration file we're going to be starting off with. 2015 Mustang GT manual transmission file. That's the vehicle I'm working with here. I'm going to go up into file open and move into our Mustang example files folder in our course. Now I'm going to grab my 2015 Mustang GT file here as our base example. I'm going to be going through everything here in this tutorial. The very first thing we're going to do is jump in to our template applicator and start bringing in the data and building out the file. And then we'll start to take a look at the different sections as we have up here at the top. We'll take a look at the different sections of the calibration file, making sure we understand what was changed and why changes were actually made. And then there might be some other things that we have to fill in um, that aren't accounted for in the template applicator. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So I'm gonna go up here into my edit and then into template applicator. Now it's gonna allow us to go to file open, open tune template, and then we're gonna move into, in this case, our HP Tuners Gen 2 course folder, and then into our template applicator subfolder. Here's where we can go in and start to bring in our data that's associated into our folders here. Everything is uh, named here, and we can very easily click on it and grab that data. Now on the base file prep, Regardless if you're naturally aspirated, turbocharged, supercharged, whatever, you want to go in and use the base file prep as the basis to build off for your file. So in here for the base file prep, I'm going to go into manual transmission because that's what I'm working with here. And I have to choose what the rev limiter I want to have in my calibration file is going to be. Now in this case, I've upgraded the oil pump gears which is the weak link on a Gen 2 engine. So those have been taken care of already. We can definitely rev it out to 7,800 without issue, completely safe. I might've been able to go that high on a bone stock engine, but I'm gonna start off there with a conservative, uh, conservative approach here. So we're gonna go to 7,800 RPM rev base changes and click open. Now, in this case, we're gonna see here, unable to open file, unsupported or newer version detected. Please update your software. Now, in this case, 
This is actually something that's uh, very notable. You need to make sure you're running the beta version of the software. And we can see right here, this is giving me issues because I'm just running the standard VCM editor software and not the beta. So if you're running into problems open up, opening up the template applicator files, be aware that we do need to have the, uh, the beta version of the software. So what I'm gonna do right now is just actually, I'm gonna go ahead and close this real quick and I'm gonna type in here VCM and I'm gonna type in your editor and then we can see here's the beta. Now I've installed both the beta and non-beta versions on my laptop, I use both of them depending on what I'm calibrating and tuning. So in this case, because I wanna run my template applicator files, we need to go and open up the beta version of the software. So I just double clicked on my link here, it should be opening up any second, and then we'll continue on here in just a second. Um, allow that to open. Okay, so now we have the beta software open here. Let's click OK and let's give this a second here. And we're gonna to go to file open and open up that 2015 Mustang GT file here again so we can overlay that data. So let's go ahead and grab that file. And now we can go back into the template applicator and actually have it function correctly. So we're gonna go up here to edit into template applicator and try this again. So we're gonna go up here to open tune template and then in here, we're gonna make sure. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.